right? I'm gonna head out. Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on this video and um, here's what's up. Lately, I've just been under a ton of stress. Most, I would say, legitimate. Some of it is probably perceived stress or perceived pressure, but I mean, that's what anxiety and depression kind of does to you. I, I feel like my mental health has been a real, um, I don't know, just on a bit of a decline lately. And, and, you know, nothing to be worried about or anything like that, but it's just that I haven't been coping with the stress and anxiety very well. So I'm needing to try to find new ways and new avenues to kind of relieve stress because what I've done in the past hasn't been working the same way as it typically has. Probably has to do with, with um, I'm not doing CrossFit right now. So some of the nervous energy I probably was getting out there um, I'm not getting out right now because I haven't gone to a gym for a couple weeks. I just needed a break from some stuff. And so um, it was, um, you know, Valentine's Day this past weekend, Rochelle booked us an Airbnb in Canada and we just up and left. We left behind um, the stress of, of house hunting, which we're doing, which is just a strain on on finances and lots of things to, to think about and consider and there's so many things that need to go right and it just has taken its toll on me lately along with work and everything else so it's just it's been rough but but getting out of the the area for a little bit i mean literally removing myself not just from the environment but the state the country you know i came home i'm still feeling stress but it's not like it was. So I just want to explain, uh, as you saw in my last video, as I was having an anxiety attack or, or kind of at the tail end of it for several weeks, I uh, wasn't really sleeping much. I do have insomnia and, and migraine and things like that that are all fueled by stress, basically. And so I was getting tons of headaches, I'm not sleeping, and I had this constant just uncomfortableness in my chest and it just wasn't going away it was there for weeks and and it just would slowly day by day i feel like more was adding up so when we went on the trip i feel like a lot of the responsibilities things like that that were kind of plaguing me and weighing on my mind you know it just kind of cut off and for a couple days I, you know, I still experienced a little bit of stress, but like that pain was gone. I was able to just kind of feel like I could relax a little bit because I was taking out of the place where, where I work, the place where I, um, you know, edit podcasts and videos. I was able to just lounge and read and listen to music and podcasts and just exist for a little bit. We went out, we enjoyed ourselves had some new experiences, got to spend a lot of time just playing with the dog and, and giving her a lot of attention, which which felt really good. And just feeling like we could reconnect a tiny bit and, and get a little bit of a breather before coming back and getting back into the thick of everything. I do have the dull ache a tiny bit again, but I think having that tiny little break gave me the opportunity to almost hit like a, a, a soft reset. Now I can kind of look at things in a bit more clearer light and say, okay, I'm recognizing where some issues are and I need to find something to do about them. So to get a better handle on my stress and my anxiety levels, there are a few solutions I could do. And I don't wanna say I have to do these things because when you're dealing with things like uh, mental health, 
you don't want to dwell on the have tos or need tos. You want to dwell in the cans. I could do this. I can do that. I can exercise. Obviously, it's going to benefit me physically and mentally, and those are all goals that that I want to achieve this year of getting better control of. So there we go. Second thing I can do is set aside a little bit of time to meditate, to just sit and relax for five minutes, 10 minutes, lay on the floor on my back, let the crazy thoughts just run their course because I'm one of those people that at night, um, I lay my head down and my brain wants to think of everything that can go wrong, um, either currently, everything that I've done wrong in the past, embarrassing moments, things that I'm afraid of or, or perceptions that other people might have of me that are negative. My brain just kind of runs its its little web and, and just goes down the rabbit hole crawling through that web of, of all of these negative thoughts. Just let my brain have that time when I'm not trying to relax and go to sleep. So uh, that's something I can do. Third thing I can do is just make sure I schedule some actual me time each day. And I'm, I'm kind of bad at that. I keep myself very, very, very busy. I do get some downtime, but a lot of the downtime that I take is probably going to be while I'm doing something else or or spending time with Rochelle, which is, of course, I want to spend time with Rochelle, but I think that it goes a long way for somebody to be able to do whatever they want by themselves, even if it's for a small period of time, you know, 20, 30 minutes. I, I would probably read a comic book, maybe play a video game for a little bit. Just something that isn't sitting and just watching like TV or a show or something, um, something I can actively do that's just for me. Something to look forward to and, and kind of know that I have this scheduled time each day, that this is mine. Fourth thing I can do is is get out a little bit more and I don't necessarily mean like go out somewhere, I just mean get out of like this room. I work from home full time and it's all done in this room. All the podcasting is done in this room. All the videos are done in this room. All the Let's Plays are done in this room. Most of my life is literally spent in this room, in this position. So uh, I think it would probably do me some good to, to get out of here. And I think that would take some stress off of me of removing myself from this environment more often. Now we are trying to close the deal on a house so we would be moving in the next few months if everything goes right. We've talked and decided that it makes sense um, mentally for me to separate into two spaces. So we will have the, the recording room and then we will have the workroom, separate workstations in different parts of the house. So I think that will help me as well. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Let me know what kind of things that you're doing to help manage your stress. And if you have any ideas for me, or if you want some ideas, I would love to kind of exchange those with you. Just leave a comment below and we can talk about it. Thank you for watching this video. Keep fighting.